Buzulanine. I'm Jamie Isaac from the Winnipeg Art Gallery, curator of Indigenous and Contemporary Arts. I'm on the corner of Ellis and Young Street in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Treaty 1 Territory. And I wanted to share with you uh, from the Winnipeg Art Gallery's collection uh, a work by Daphne Ojin, Thunderbird Woman. And it was recreated and painted by Mike Valcourt and Peter Thomas in partnership with the Wall to Wall Mural Festival in 2008. Daphne Ojig opened the first Indigenous owned gallery space in Canada, known as the New Warehouse Gallery. And she was known as the founder of the Professional Native Indian Artists Association, also known as the Indian Group of Seven, in the late 60s, early 70s with other members Norval Morisot, Alex Janvier, Jackson Beardy, Joseph Sanchez, Eddie Cobinus, and Carl Ray. The group was at the forefront for advocating for the display of contemporary Indigenous art in mainstream art institutions, paving the way for artists today. They also established a style of art called the Woodland School, a unique and significant artistic form that can be identified and characterized by organic use of bright, pure color shapes, surrounded by black form lines, presenting a visually compelling graphic quality. Norval Morisot painted Androgyny in 1983, 10 years after Ojig's Thunderbird Woman. Androgyny is a large, mural-sized acrylic painting of four panels. It presents a vibrant expression of interconnectedness of life, as well as understanding of non-binary identities. A thunderbird is represented in the center dome as the life force of all living things. Norville offered this mural to the people of Canada. In a letter to Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau, Morisot wrote, the theme of the mural is a shaman that is androgynous in four directions, filled with all parts of nature in Canada. Thunder beings, sacred serpents and turtles, flowers, animals, we children of Mother Earth. P.S. Butterflies and bumblebees too.